Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lightblade and in this video I'll teach you how to do the most accurate Mythic Plus simulations with the help of a few advanced tools. And with that being said, let's start with the video. So you'll need three important add-ons that every player should have. Simulation Craft, like the name says, it helps you simulate everything your character can use. Wii Chorus, an add-on that can do almost anything with the correct inputs. And Mythic Dungeon Tools, a great add-on that helps you create dungeon routes. You can download the three of them from CurseForge website. The links for them will be in the description of the video. Okay, after you download and install those add-ons, you'll need a specific weak aura that's called MDT Sim. It's a bit oldish, but still does the work just fine. So copy the string and paste it in your weak auras. The link to the Wago will be also down in the description of the video. Okay, now that we have the necessary tools to do the simulation, let's start with the process. So first of all, open your weak auras and go to your MDT Sim tab. After that, go to custom options and you will find minimum delay and maximum delay. On minimum delay, I recommend putting either five or six. I'm just gonna put six and press enter. And then on maximum delay, I'm gonna put seven and put, put enter. This is just going to give you some natural downtime between pulls, you know, the times you run between them, the times that your healer needs to drink sometimes, or maybe just account for some deaths, you know. Not every run is perfect, so this just gives that natural downtime that we need to happen. Okay, up next, we have to check our loadout. So check all the gear you have, talents, and all those things. Once they are all correct, you press slash sim C. And you get this little square. You have that information, and now we have to go to, to the raid bots website. Once we are there, you copy paste all that information. It says load from sim c add-on and now your character's information is there so down here you have some options most of them don't really matter with the exception of ones for trinkets for example if you have an ominous chromatic essence let it tell it the simulation that you're using crit haste mastery or versatility if you have ali buffs or people that are going to use it uh, put it there a lot of people don't so i'm just going to leave it at uh, no ali buffs and then the same thing with whispering incarnate icon if you're the only one person in the group that's going to use it just put dps if there's other and you know about it you can put uh, the information there as well. I normally just leave it at DPS. It's not a super popular trinket. After that, you want to check embellishments. I'm using blue silk and linen uptime. And normally it's uh, between 65 and 55%. So I'm just going to leave it at 60, which is a good average. After that, uh, corrupting potion uptime. I'm just going to leave it at 80%. I don't use that potion, so it doesn't really matter too much for me. Uh, other trinkets these ones don't matter they're old and now we have to check out the consumable so just put whatever you are going to be using you know potion is default because it's gonna you're gonna use the rank three of elemental potion uh, food i'm using the crit burst one plus the file of tepid versatility i'm gonna use augmentation rune because i have the permanent one and i'm gonna use a weapon rune which is by default the haste one so after that you have all these little squares these don't really matter at all because the simulation is going to override them and we are just going to pick uh, down there uh, in the whenever we get to the advanced part what buffs we are going to be getting okay so now we're going back to the game and opening our mythic dungeon tools so the first thing you want to do here is select the dungeon that you want to simulate for this one is going to be an Uldaman legacy of tear then you select the affixes for uh, the, the simulation to know if it's fortified or tyrannical and then you select the dungeon level you want to sim for after that you have to make realistic uh, routes so uh, don't select the half the dungeon because the simulation is going to think that you're actually going to pull half of the dungeon you know so do realistic pulls like you see here first pull is all purple second pull is boss plus the two gators red pull is all these little mobs here so yeah after you do that oh by the way uh, tanks normal if you don't want to do your own um like route sometimes some, sometimes tanks well most of the time tanks link the route at the start of the dungeon so just check if the route is realistic and you can use that to do your simulation if not you can also find routes in the raider io web page i'll link it down in the description Anyways, after you have a route, go up here to the SimC export and you're also going to see mob health percentage 27. So don't move this number. This means that you're personally going to be doing 27% of the damage to the mobs and the other two DPS are also going to be doing 27 each and the rest 19 is going to be done by the healer and the tank. So this is a good middle point. It's just a nice average to have of damage done by each player. Okay, next we press the SimC export route. We copy paste this and now we have to go back to the Raidbot webpage. 
Okay, we're back at the website. So we have copied that information and we have to put it somewhere, right? So you go down here where it says custom APL and SimC options and you see this little square that says SimC expert mode. You click that. You're gonna open a bunch of other like squares, but the only one that we care about is called footer. So you paste all that information you got. So you see a lot of letters and this is very important. This is basically the whole route of the dungeon. You can actually uh, customize some stuff from, like I said, up here. You don't you don't care about these squares. You can actually customize this here. So you can see override wind fury totem. If you have a wind fury totem, you, you swap the zero for a one. But since we we don't have it, we're just gonna put a zero. Uh, so the same goes for every other buff, you know, arcane intellects, shadow ward fortitude, um, Battle Shout, Mark of the Wild, all those things you can just swap the zero for a one if you have it in your group. As for uh, Bloodlust, you have to know the pool that you're going to be using it because it, like you see here, it says Raid Events Pool zero one. So that's the first pool. Let's say I want to use Bloodlust on the first pool. I'm just going to swap the Bloodlust equal zero to equal one. And that's pretty much it. So next time I'm going to use the Bloodlust, let's say, let's look for a boss fight. So uh, which is a good boss fight to use it on? I guess the. Um, Let's look for the, the big trog guy. Oh no, let's look for the sentinel. So sentinel Telandra. So you can see here, uh, the pole is pole 06, bloodlust equal, equal zero. I'm just gonna swap it to one. And okay, I'm gonna use bloodlust on sentinel Telandra. So this is a bit of knowledge. You have to know where your bloodlust is going to happen if you wanna use this option. Sometimes I just leave the bloodlust thing on zero on every every simulation just to have a nice average because you don't you don't know when the blood dust is going to be used on every single pool. Some people use it in some places, some people use it in others. Or sometimes there are some dungeons where it's always on the same thing, so you know when you have to do it and just swap the 0 for a 1. And well, that's it. Just press the button and you're done. So I really like the simulation mode. Uh, like I said at the start, it's the closest representation of the damage you'll be doing in dungeons because dun simming for dungeons is really hard. Of course, there will be some variation depending on the skill level of the other DPS. If they perform poorly or die, you'll probably do more in a live setting. But as a benchmark, in an even playing field, this is a great tool for picking gear, talents, and everything you can use in Mythic Plus dungeons. The simulation we just did was only a quick sim, so this is just going to show you the damage your abilities are going to be doing at the end of a run. This is useful to compare, you know, from live to uh, simulated stuff. The same goes for buff uptimes, but we can take this even further. If we go back, we can find other tools like drop damage, and you can use the same style of simulation as long as you have the expert mode on here, the little square uh, ticked and then you check down in the footer that you have the information from the mythic dungeon tools you can use the drop optimizer to know what gear you want to get from different bosses and you can also do the same thing for top gear which is a lot more useful because this is stuff from your bags uh, you can simulate anything you have you know a bunch of uh, for example i have a bunch of cloaks which cloak is just better for a, a certain dungeon uh, you can simulate your enchantments which one is better you can simulate gems everything you want you know talent setups the best things that you can use for different dungeons as long as i you have the sim c expert mode plus the footer you're good to go and you can do full dungeon simulations this is just a really really useful tool and well guys that's going to be the end of the video you know a lot of people say just sim yourself you know but doing that for mythic plus is complicated so i wanted to give you guys the tools to make it a bit more accurate and well if you like my content leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching everyone